Hello, Melika. I'm Jonuts. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jonut. Nice to meet you. Nicht wahr? Lord Bavara? Heil dem stärksten Kapitän. Uh, it's a, a real pleasure to do this with you. I uh, I watched the series in like two days. I, I, I would have watched it in one day, but I fell asleep. <laughs> really nice. I, I really liked your character. Really bossy. Really bossy. <laughs> really, really bossy. Yeah. So... Um, My first question for you would be about the shoes. How yes. <laughs> were they comfortable? I guess not. Was it hard to act in those shoes? It was at the beginning quite hard, but um, I had a lot of practice. So um, I tell you something about the shoes because it starts all with my physical training months before uh, we started to shoot. So we had, you know, horse riding and we had I had a personal trainer I had sword fighting everything so four or five days a week for three hours a day so I was kind of like physically prepared for that part and then we had costume rehearsals and um, I'm not very tall I'm 164 so I realized to play a villain and to be that violent and brutal with my with the people, with the slaves I own, for example. And all my male colleagues were taller than me. So I needed something where, um, which catapults me into a height <laughs> where yeah. I can really look into their eyes and be on the same height. Barbara, was mache ich mit jemandem, dem aus reiner Nachlässigkeit Dutzende Sklaven abhanden gekommen sind? Ihr zeigt keine Gnade, Kapitän. Wie alle Großes tun. So we found these shoes. They're originally from, um, from Alexander McQueen. They're called Amadillo shoes and they're very, very, very expensive. So the original ones, I think Lady Gaga owns uh, one pair of them. <laughs> so we couldn't have the originals, but we found this very, very skilled schoolmaker, uh, shoemaker in, uh, in Prague and he rebuilt the shoes. They were very heavy. And, um, but because I was trained so good, It was not that difficult um, to walk in them. I, I took them home with me and I walked with them through my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Gulliver, actually. But um, they were very, very important. They were a very important part of my costume. So I wouldn't, for, for everything in the world, for, it, it was hard, but it was very important to have them. Yeah, I also think it was your attitude because I was talking yesterday to Anna Ularu and we, we agreed that the character, aside from the shoes, had like this, uh, how is it, how it's called online, a big energy. You were like, you were really bossy. Nobody could tell you what to do. And uh, Anna said uh, your character was um, her favorite character. Einer meiner Einheiten hat bei der Patrouille ein Flugobjekt abgeschossen. Now it's your turn. What's your favorite character, apart from your own character, Barbara, of course? Um, I had a lot of characters I liked, but um, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Braca, the guy who collects all the stuff from, uh, from before the Black December. I really yeah. love him and I love his attitude and he's very playful and he's fun. And um, he's also a guy who, um, at the first sight, you think he's an evil guy, but he has a big heart and he helps them later. And I like really this character. I also like the character of Amena, the um, best uh, technician of, of Europa <laughs> and, <laughs> in 2074. She's like, she's also very bossy and, and uh, In a very independent woman character. I love her. I also love Liv's character because um, she's really like uh, uh, fighting so much and um, to, 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 to get back to her families. Meine Mutter hat uns gegründet, zehn Jahre vor meiner Geburt. Keine zwölf Leute damals. So there are a lot of characters I really adore. I really like them. Moses, for example. So, yeah. So. Most, it, was, it was really funny to see Oliver, like I last saw him in dark and in dark he was like 
a dark character with filled with problems and then seeing him as a joker as a it was really funny to see him acting in both ways um can we say that there there's like a, a complicated love story being born between Keanu and Varvara um maybe. with no spoilers obviously yes it's it's with all the aspects um it's it's difficult to say that it's a love story because you know a love story is something both sides have to feel and i think when you see keanu's character who is like um his tribe is killed by bavara and she humiliates him she rapes him and i think there is maybe we can call it kind of like a fascination she he has and um do you ever heard of this stockholm syndrome yeah that was that was actually on my mind i was going to say it kind of feels like the stockholm syndrome yeah kind of feels like that on the other hand we have this very unscrupulous and very brutal violent character of favara who is doing him harm wherever she can but um if you know something about the back story of favara um that she's not born into the into yeah. the tribes of the crows she was um Uh, took away from her family by Lord Eva and he was very violent to her and i guess there was some rape going on there too so a person who experienced a lot of violence and i think when she sees kiano there is something she sees in him which uh resembles her character and she's a huge narcissist so i think it's kind of like when she loves him it's kind of also finding self love for yourself again something complex is going on there yeah. um it's not the romantic kind of love we know from love movies you know yeah. romantic yeah. stories but there is something going on between them which maybe There is something like maybe we can see it in the in the second season. Yeah, a twisted yeah. love maybe. Yeah. <laughs> a twisted love story. Yeah. The twisted love story. Let's call it like that. Yeah. Um when I tell you Romania, what's the first thing that cup that pops up in your mind? Music. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of music? Music and dance. <laughs> Do you know any Romanian music? I know some you may uh, Romanian Romanian folk music so I really enjoyed that I think um it's it's um it's people who like to dance and like to you know celebrate and this is what the the first thing which comes into my mind when I hear it. <laughs> yeah we we are we are that kind of people joyful people <laughs> yeah um and uh Is there something you would like to say to uh, someone that hasn't watched the show to convince him to watch the show like I'm a regular guy I have an Netflix account yes. and how would you sell me this show So if you're into science fiction movies but also like let's not call it only science fiction I would also call it the post apocalyptic western movie something like that if you're interested in uh Europe if you're interested in also politics kind of um if you're interested in a story about hope um survival about fighting about um coming together as uh, a family again if you're into fighting and um into uh adventure stories watch tribes of europe <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much, Melika. I hope it goes number one trending on Netflix worldwide. I'm going to recommend it in my show, in my radio show, because I really enjoyed it. And it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you, Yonot. It was very nice talking to you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too.